Hello. Um, just want to say, um, question everything. Everything you're told, question. Every rumour you're told, question. Everything you're told about anyone, question. Question the people you're told it about and, and so forth. And, and hear their side of the story. Even if it's from a someone you definitively trust. Because the trouble with me is, if, if I really trust the person that's um, told me these things, I... Um, I'll go along and click and share on Facebook and stuff like that. Not really looking into it much further, but I should do really, I think. Um, but yeah, question everything anyone, anyone tells you. Because um, I think questioning is good. Um, what did I question today? Oh, um not much, but it's Mother's Day tomorrow, so happy Mother's Day to my mum tomorrow. Um, I haven't bought your present, but I've um, done, done you a nice drawing, hopefully, that you'll like better than any of them crappy ones behind me on the wall. Um, well, I think it is anyway, but you might think it's... Well, you've seen bits of it and you said how much you like it but she would a mother would say that wouldn't she um so it's yeah question every every single thing on this earth and question why why we have so many l lights lighting up the bloody um streets at night and stuff and do they really help when, when all cars have headlights anyway, and so on. Because cause I always wonder what it'd be like if there was no um, street, street lamps and you could just see all the stars much clearer without all that light pollution and stuff. Um, I think it'd be cool. You, I mean, you can see a, f a few stars, but... I remember being in the pitch black in Ireland where there would be no street lights at all and you could see billions of stars. There'd just be stars everywhere. You could just stare and stare and you'd see more and more. And it's quite amazing to see. And obviously you'd, you'd be seeing um, the odd shooting star and stuff like that. But now, if, if you're living in a suburban or urban type place, you're not going to you're not going to really see the stars, are you? You're not going to want to look up because of these massive bright lamps that are burning a hole through your skull. So, yeah, just things like that. Qu question. And uh, question TV too, because I think TV's a load of... I still keep it on at night to keep me um, from getting these flashing Im image light type things in my eye like in front of my face um, it helps with that because it's a, a flashing image itself but I don't know please just question everything in including all the conspiracy theories you're told uh, and, and all these conspiracy these conspiracy websites that are there to sort of tell you how bad the government is and stuff like that. Question them, because they must have ulterior motives to sort of collect you up in a way. Um, because I don't think if they were really that honest, they'd have millions of views a day. Because I think they'd be killed off. Or I've, I think they'd accidentally die of a heart attack or something. I'm just saying... Um, question everything and that's 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 probably why I'm sat around not doing well s sat around in this sort of cage of a room that I really like as a cage it's better than a real cage but I, I do just question everything I think to myself 
So what? What the hell is that about? How can that be? What is that? I'm not very clever. So, so I, I mean, maybe I have to question things more than, than others would. But I don't know. I don't think it's to do with IQ when it comes to questioning certain elements and things like I basically need to learn more and um, questioning things in my own head is sort of self-teaching, isn't it? Rather than um, teaching yourself through all these different teaching networks, which I know, in my, in my mind anyway, are corrupt. I think school is corrupt. Why the hell is mental health not 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 taught straight away in school so none of the kids with any mental health issues get bullied picked on or whatever for being different because it seems like this world does not like anyone who's different at all or or who acts different or who thinks different um obviously if they're a sex offender or whatever you can understand why people would not like that but if if they just think differently, what's wrong with that? And and why isn't it taught in school? Hold on, this kid's um, he, he's a bit further down the autistic spectrum, or this this kid's um, he's got a learning difficulty in this part of his brain, and that's why he he doesn't understand mathematics as well as you. Yet he can draw. Ten times better than you, you know them them sorts of things, and I think everyone would get along better, and people would understand each other more, and stuff like that. Even to, with physical health, I, I know I've been over it before. Uh, physical disabilities and mental health and stuff. If if people have just minor um, things, dyslexia, this. Um, Kids with dyspraxia, you, you, um, things like that, you, you 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 should be taught about before how to do times tables. I reckon because I didn't understand times tables at all, and luckily I had a nice friend who sat beside me to to, to try and teach me how, rather than the teacher, and I was getting more help from this kid beside me who I wish I still knew, um, than I did from the teachers. So, it's, um, in, in a way, putting a label on these things helps because a teacher might go, oh no, he's, he's dyslexic, okay, I'll, I'll have to treat him this way or whatever, or or he's dyspraxic, I'll, ha I'll have to treat him this way, yeah, or whatever. In, a, in another way, labels don't help at all because every single human being is completely different. We're, we're becoming the same because of the because of the teaching systems and because of the systems like through uh, the internet, these advertising systems that focus completely on what you've looked at before. So they're trying to fit you in a box already, um, which has been done for generations way before I was born, I reckon. I reckon we're all under mind control, every one of us. I reckon every single person that isn't a multi-billionaire is a targeted individual in some way or another. I just think some know about it and some don't, and some know that some are targeted individuals or think they're something different and think it's a laugh to go along with what is um, happening to them when, in fact, the people are in utter hell. Um, but, yeah, because that, that's sort of uh, the way I felt before, it, in utter, like, complete hell, thinking, fucking hell, man, I am going to die any second now, Jesus, what the... You know trying to sort of uh, I don't know it's, it's it's so hard to explain and I reckon there's p probably loads of people in them positions all over the place but 
but through different networks, through different circles. So they wouldn't be known as a targeted individual in the case of how targeted individuals are explaining themselves now, but maybe they are targeted individuals in a different way, uh, just without knowing it. Um, and they don't realise the reason they've gone to the park that day wasn't because they wanted to go to the park, was because they were basically directed to go to the park. And if you've seen De Darren Brown, you know that people can be directed to go and do anything. Now, just multiply him, not his personality, but, but, but his skills by f hundreds of thousands, maybe millions, and then you'd know there would be a sort of there'd be a pass down of, of links to, to to control people like how the second dance follows the first dance and so on. Um, I may not be making m much sense to um, most people, but. I'm trying to make as much sense as I can. It's just really difficult. It's really difficult for me to explain. I'd like to teach. I'd like to teach um, sort of mental health in schools. And I'd like to spot out if there, if there are kids that are, are, are struggling with certain things and need help and, and other kids need to be sort of aware that these kids need help and they're not thick or dumbasses or whatever. They're, they're, they're just different and maybe super at, at, at stuff they don't even know about. Y you know, you find people with such amazing skills. I mean, I'm stuck in this room. What's my amazing skill? My, the only amazing skill I've, I've had through my life is I've been an awesome arm wrestler for my size and sh shape, for my weight. I've, I've always been in the top 99.99999 reoccurring percent. I've always been super strong like that. But at the same time, one of my massive weaknesses is my hands sweat continuously. This is through school and stuff. And um, I shake like a leaf, especially at school. And I think that's through, that was just through pure, pure anxiety. And um, that makes it really hard to write and stuff when you're constantly having to dry your hands on you. You think about how, how much slower that would make you if every couple of seconds you're having to dry your hands after writing a couple of words. You, you're going to be writing a lot less. And um, same, same goes for drawing. It's, I, I love drawing, but I'm constantly having to get my towel. Where's my towel, Lee? get my towel, dry my hands and uh, carry on the my shaky drawing. But um, just done a drawing for, for Mother's Day. Well, well, it's not finished yet, but I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it in the light, because it's, um, this, is, this is how it's starting anyway. Can you see it? It's, it's not one of them ones that most people would like, but I think more like it because she knows it's my style of drawing. Um, obviously, there's going to be a lot more detail by the end of tonight. But yeah, things like that. There's, there's so many things to take into account when, when you first start, especially when you first start at school. And... Um, that's what should be taught, not your times tables. I couldn't understand it. Six, six is 36. How the f... I, I don't understand. What? In that block? Why? I didn't understand why. She just draw. She just drawn it all in, in a big block. One times one is one, you, you know. And I thought, yeah, but I don't understand how you get to that number. You're just writing them all in a block. I need to understand... The method in which the 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 numbers arrive at, at that, you know, by by using sort of objects 
as a way of um, working it out, which one class showed me. And then I worked out, oh, that's how you do it. But it took me a lot longer because I'd be using these objects or using lines in my head or dots in my head to add it all together. So, in a way, I, I was looking at things a lot... Um, in a lot more detail, I'd have to look at the number or the the workings in a lot more detail than the average kid who would be like, boom, 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 boom. So I'd, 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 I was seen as a dumbass. Well, I still am seen as a dumbass. I'm seen as a naive, uh, stupid dumbass from a lot of people. But I don't think I'm a dumbass. I think I just think differently and... I think I could help a lot of the people that are seen as dumbasses not see, not be seen as dumbasses by teaching the other kids that hold on a second. This kid's probably got some sort of super strength in one way or another. Not physical, maybe, maybe still mental, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, so I'd, I'd, I did do a petition uh, to, to change the way um, school kids are taught. Um, and, and that mental health and physical health and nutritional health should be taught first of all so the kids know and if 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 kids are having problems at home that it, it should be noted and stuff like that because you don't want to be in hell at home and in hell at, at school do you? You, you you want at least people to sort of know and, and be able to find a method in, in which to help you. But that still doesn't seem to to be happening because kids will go home and they'll get beaten by their stepdads or dads in, or, or their mum will be beaten in front of them. And what example is that to set to a child? But they're not going to go telling the teachers at, at school, are they? They're going to just find it normal and assume... And that's a normal thing for all other kids to have happen to them. So, yeah, I'd like... This This is just my video on I'd like the way uh, things are taught in school to change. And, um, yeah, because if, if, if I ever got called a name, I learnt from another kid. I saw him got a kid in a headlock and... Um, so I thought, right, if, if I ever get called the name, I better uh, do that. So I, I copied him. He, he was, it was actually him. So I was, I was very scared. I, I was a scared, nervous kid. He was the one taking the piss out of me, so I got him in a headlock. And um, then he was scared of me. And then I started getting known as, you know, the toughest in the, in, in the year and stuff like that. But then, through other schools, because we went through women's refuges, etc., etc., I went to quite a few different schools. People would call me Phil McCracken, so I'd, I'd punch him on the arm. Now, I'd be seen as the bully because I'd give them a big, massive bruise on their arm, yet I'd have maybe 30 times that day walk past someone and they'd be like, Phil McCracken! which surely would get to you more than one bruise on the arm a day because I, I could, um, I'd have much rather a bruise on the arm a day, but I'd have been the one seen as a bully, you see what I mean? So th these kids could have been going home to their parents, look at this, who's done that to you? We'll get this child when he's older, he's obviously an evil person. You, you know, and, and these are the things that I reckon are happening and still going on and this could be why I'm targeted could be one of the reasons why I'm targeted I think other reasons were just because I was a northerner and I lived down south after the refuge you know but um, I'll leave it there